Scarlett Johansson was named Esquire's sexiest woman alive for the second time, and we wanted to explore this choice a little bit. So Cliff from the Life section is joining me now. I did a quick search on Twitter, and it seems like everybody's in agreement over this choice of Scarlett Johansson. Is that true? Do all women and men agree that she's the sexiest woman alive? It's kind of obvious. I think she's pretty agreeable. But I think the key thing there is you went to Google to search, and I bet you put in Scarlett Johansson, and there, you got a million results. And you can go to the internet to find the most beautiful woman, and you get lists and galleries, maybe some pornography and everything. So it seems a little dumb to have one magazine declare the most sexiest woman alive. Interestingly enough, Gwyneth Paltrow was named most beautiful woman in the world by People magazine, and people do not agree on Gwyneth. People struggle with Gwyneth. She is divisive. She is a perfectionist. You hear all the time in the media about her kale shakes and her yoga and her yoga with children. And so to strive for perfection, I feel like, turns people off a bit, and people love to hate Gwyneth. Whereas Scarlett here feels a little like she's more of a natural beauty. Like she's not stick thin, she's not supermodel thin. She has a bit of fat, she has, doesn't have the perfect proportions, but there's something overall there that works for her. Okay, well I'm gonna say, you know, you call her a natural beauty, I say there are many layers of the perfecting that's going on here for this image. And also, uh, she probably does plenty of stuff and has a team of people who help her just as much as Gwyneth does, but you raise a very good point about sexy versus beautiful. Gwyneth is a striver, she tries hard. Is the trick to being sexy the notion, or at least the illusion, that you don't try hard? I think that's definitely key. And in, in her interview, she says something to the lines like, I'm 28, I know my years of being sexy are almost over, I might become a mother on, in Hollywood soon. So she knows what she has, and she, she really understands that the tagline of Esquire is the woman and restaurants and cars we love issue. So she understands that her beauty might be a little bit of a commodity. What is interesting is that the British Esquire editor recently caused a stir online when he said, we use women as ornaments. Uh, just as we do cars and anything else that we feature in our magazine, but that women's magazines do that too, and I would completely agree with that, actually. There's proper place to debate who's most beautiful and most sexy, but is just sometimes the packaging and the way we present them is just, just feels a little bit sleazy. We're all deserving of our own sexy, more most beautiful person, and it might not be Scarlett mm -hmm. for you. It might be someone else. Who would your pick be? It, it might be Kirsten Dunst, but don't tell anyone that. <laughs> I might go with someone like Janelle Monae, or I love um, MIA as well. I think she's gorgeous. She'll never be on the cover of a magazine <laughs> like this, though, I think. No. Well, thanks for the discussion, Cliff. Thank you, Hannah.